How we doing guys? The Crypt up here. Ah, it's been a while since I've done a video. I usually used to do videos based on uh, my own experience, a quick tutorial about how to do this, how to stay here. You know, give you guys information that at the moment was not available for me. So I usually just share it. So you guys don't go through the same thing I have. Um, got too many projects. I recently become a crypto miner. So I'm gonna share you guys my experience with a very unique issue that I was having lately uh, that is called and illegal memory access was encountered. I've been having that problem for days. Um, so further in the video, I'll show you guys uh, how did I actually manage to fix it and give you guys a quick tip. Hopefully that helps you guys uh, solve the, uh, the problem. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing my personal experience so you guys don't go through it thing hustle I've been going through. So with all that said, let's get to it. So here we are. Before I begin showing you guys everything, I'll show you guys the, the first crypto mining that I actually start with. And um, I actually find a video on YouTube that show you what I want to explain it to you guys because I made a mistake. I'm not recording or take a picture of my own issue. Should have done it last night, but I couldn't. But just a pitch quick, a quick glint. And um, and YouTube will, you know, will clarify you guys what I was talking about. Uh, and then I will jump in into my manor rig so I'll show you guys what I have and how to get a fix. So uh, with all that, let me show you guys the video. Just a moment. And here we are, guys. This is my gaming computer. This is an R R13 Aurora with a 3070 Ti. This was my first mining rig that I actually have. I'm, used, I'm mining right now Flux. And using G minor, usually I tried all three of them, LOL minor, G minor, and I think this was called mini C minor. Let me double check here to be more specific. Yes, mini mini C minor. I tried all three of them. For me, the one that I worked was G minor. So right now I'm mining flux. I don't know, I can't open that window. So I'm mining flux, so here's the problem. This is the one I was selling you guys. It's called an illegal memory access was encountered. I was having that problem for days. Never find a solution. Yeah, even in this one, I have the same problem, but that only happens when I usually um, push the memory a little bit further than it should. But I was having that problem in my mining rig, which I will show you guys in a moment. What is a uh, has a look and uh, how to actually, well, how did I fix the, my problem? Hopefully yours will be able to be fixed with the same technique I just used. So let me move it now to my minor rig so you guys can take a close look and see what I'm talking about. Here we are, guys. Uh, it's kind of late right now, so if my voice sounds kind of low. Uh, this is my minor rig, as you can see here. I have five 6060 Super, three MSI 6060 Super, and two Sodak, I think it's called. I'm still missing the fifth, the sixth one is still in the way, but for now, this is all I have. Uh, this little device right here is, that allows me to, uh, you know, it allows me to speed up and slow down my fans instead of connecting directly to the motherboard or the power supply itself. Individually, I connect, you can connect up to eight of them. I'll put it down in the description below. Uh, a very cool kit. Uh, uh, to, to have you can actually even connect the, uh, your processes fan to adjust the speed but I rather just leave it to the motherboard but here we are uh, this is uh, right now she's still mining uh, let's get this down and let's show this guys real quick this is what I think it helps me make the solution first you go to my PC you go to property you go to advance then from advance you go to setting i already have it here then for you go from there you go to another event then you click change i have to adjust this well make sure that you don't have any automatically if you do you unclick it and you click custom and here is where you actually adjust it keep in mind you need to know how many gpus you have and how many gigabytes each individual have, like I told my buddy, a uh, friend of mine who was asking the same question, I was telling him, so it's good to have one whole rack, or if you have notes, or like I do, I keep notes of all my GPUs, 
in everything that I have just in case I tend to forget. Uh, so it's good to have one set or just one car or let's say they can all be different brand but to make sure that they are the same amount of gigabytes so that way you don't lose tracks in the process. Everybody's different. That's how I like to keep. I'm waiting to get the second shell because mine can hold up to 12 GPUs as you can see here. I only have six, I still miss it. I mean five, I still missing uh, another seven more. So back into here. Uh, I have to readjust this. So the thing about here is that you need to multiply the amount of GPU that you have. If you have eight, if you have 12, uh, gigabytes GPU, you multiply the amount that you have. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. For example, I have five GPUs. So if we multiply five times six, it's 30. So we put 30, and the maximum will be 60. So you always double it. And then you click set. Okay. It requires to restart your computer before it uh, before it takes effect. So we know that. So what we uh, is it always does that. You need to restart your computer. Do that. Mine has been mining with no problem for eleven hours. But that was because I made that adjustment. But I miscalculated. It's not sixty thousand. It's thirty thousand because sixty thousand is like half of it. Um, so you always multiply your GPUs by the amount. So if you have six, you multiply six uh, GPUs with six gigabyte each. You multiply six times six, and that's your amount right there. So I'm gonna close down my miner, and I'm gonna apply. You click. You close everything down. So I'm gonna restart my miner real quick, so then I can show you guys. Uh, what's the outcome was going to be so let me just restart my mind in to forward this video and i'll show you guys in a minute and here we are uh coming back so let's double check to see if everything actually got the way it's supposed to all this seems to be all set uh we go back again property advanced setting you go to setting you go to advanced you go change and here we are so everything seems to be in place now let's launch the mining and my msi's afterburner right here these are my personal settings for the g miner which is the one i'm using right now i'm using a g miner this one right here i love it the way it is just i do uh, and you launch the app so no problems whatsoever. Let me just increase the speed, making sure they don't overheat. So, I'm gonna turn that page. All right, so let's put it down to 70 and let's wait until she get a couple hash, which it takes very really fast. So, until she decided to get me a couple shares so we can share it. Here's uh, my actually, I'm gonna put it down below. My, uh, uh my uh my setting my overclock setting for my 6060 super you can actually guys check uh um minor chamber uh dot com i will put the link down below in the description uh very good they got all the uh overclocking setting for almost all the video cards that i have seen so far this is my like i keep mine in 76 i usually keep it in 70 but sometimes i want to work a little bit faster uh I usually keep my memory minus 29 but usually you should just keep it in zero if you put it if you try to push it it will crash your gpus every card is different but i put it uh core clock 110 fan 70 don't don't go past 80 so those are my personal overclock i check minor chambers and they say it's supposed to be 70 power uh 100 in uh, core clock and zero in memory clock zero offset will be with thousand and, but that will be up to you. It depends what kind of car you have. So here we are. I'm getting 123. Wow. I'm getting even more. Oh, it's just going up and down, up and down. But I'm getting 25, 25, 25, 20. Uh, 
that much yeah some of them are getting up to 90 uh 90 percent power keep in mind these cars are 125 watts so i overclocked them down to 90 i usually keep it down to 70 but overnight i usually let them minus 70 which is not much but it's something so i love g minor because it allows me to see everything from the hatch rate right here the efficiency which it will be zero because she's barely mining right now but uh it also tell me the time that she's mining right here it tells you everything how much time she's mining so in case the computer not computer in case you mining crash it will tell you right next to it restart so if it restart let's say three times like it happens to me because my restart six times in, in the period of 28 hours so every time it restart the clock go back to zero so that tells you your mind crash because remember sometimes you have so many of this that you can keep track you don't know when she actually cried or she didn't you can tell but at least with um at least with this one with uh when uh g minor it allows you to tell you actually the amount of time that you spend uh mining and if you crash it tells you when did it crash uh any reset you clock back to zero the up timing resetting that back to zero so you will be able to tell and it tells you right here how much kilowatts you actually consume so far minus zero point zero two uh two zero and it will keep going up so that was it guys um i'm gonna put the description down below about this little toy i usually advise some people if you have too many fans and you want to maintain a speed i usually keep them low overnight because there's no need to, to keep it running fast uh, i'll leave the description down below usually you can find that on amazon but those are what well what gave me the solution for now it's been working just fine i just decided to go back and put it back the way it was supposed to so i can show you guys the video there was no problem with it that's how i actually fix it so with that i'm going to wrap up the video and the next time well that's it guys i hope this information becomes useful and allows you guys to solve the problem um it did solve mine, so hopefully it will solve yours. Again, I use this to share just my experience. No financial advice, so always do extra research. Even after this video, if you want to dig a little bit deeper, go for it. It's always good to know. We all make mistakes. I make a ton of them. I'm uh, going to be doing something else about uh, Flux, uh, the, uh, the coin I'm mining right now. I'll make a video for it, but for this one, which I was only trying to focus on how to solve that problem. So far, I have worked. I have no crashes on it so far. Hopefully I won't, unless she's overheated, but uh, hopefully this works out. I'm gonna put down my description below uh, whether I get um, the adjustment for the fan. Some people don't even know about it. Uh, some people want to connect it directly, but you always wanna have uh, something to measure, to put it higher, to put it lower, but keep in mind, also you can put your processor fan with it, which is good. Uh, you can connect your processor fan instead of connecting directly to the motherboard you can actually connect into it and you can adjust the speed you want to put it faster you want to put it lower but i decided to go with the motherboard why not but i also put some of the other um i'm going to put some of the links down below especially like i say chamber uh, minor chambers they great um there's a lot of useful information in there you guys to take a look at it i'm not a spot i mean uh they didn't ask me to do this i just share him what i like i say what i already know well that's my son <laughs> uh i just share what i already know and i just give you guys just like i said further advice uh minor chambers is great uh since i started building my minor rig that's they are the one that i actually follow and which they help me around how to configure my windows how to put it in a flash and all that so they got a ton of information you guys should take a look at it um I just advise you if you can always take a look and see if anything that they have there it becomes useful for you. Again, don't forget uh, to hit the like button and subscribe. It will help me a lot. It's still a brand new channel, but this is how we start. Again, hope this information um, helped you guys a lot. This is DR Crypto, and I'll see you in the next video.